What's taking the judge so long? What do you think he's gonna award in custody? Shh. He's trying to render his decision. Okay. I'm worried, Mother. It looks like the judge is gonna give the Lathan back to Teresa. One moment, please. I seem to be missing the last page of my case file. Would you get it from my chambers for me, Rusty? to get my son back. I have to. Looks good. I'll be ready to file appeal if decision goes versus Teresa. I am ready to render my decision. As I've noted throughout this hearing, in cases involving minors, the most important factor is the child's welfare. That should and does come before any other argument. Now, two parties have argued their case for being the better environment for young Ethan Crane. Either he's to be returned to his biological mother, Ms. Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald, or he'll remain in the custody of his stepmother, Mrs. Julian Crane. Oh, uh... Call me Rebecca, Your Honor. Having heard both sides, I feel strongly that only one of these parties can provide an adequate upbringing for the young lad in question. Please don't take my little boy. Please don't take my little boy. I don't know what I would do if I lost my son. He's got to grant custody to Teresa. Can I tell how you've helped her behind the scenes? No, never. In some custody cases, it's very difficult to choose which of the two living situations would be most beneficial to the child. Not so here. I feel confident in my decision because in this case, there is only one home that's suitable for young Ethan to live in. I find for Julian and Rebecca Crane, they are granted sole custody for one year of the child known as Ethan Lopez Fitzgerald Crane. Yes! <laughs> oh, God, no! No, please! No. no, he... <laughs> you can't take my son from me. No, no, Your Honor, excuse me. I'm sorry, but you're making a, a, a terrible mistake. My son, he needs me, and I need my son, Your Honor. Dude, I say uh, he'll hit you with contempt charges, too. Come on. He's taking my little boy away. Please I... don't take my little boy away from me. Order. Order in the court. So sorry. So where's my son? Where's my son? Because I need to sit and I need to see him real quick. Where's the little Ethan? Um... Bring the child to Miss Rebecca Crane. She can take him home now. I'm, uh, I'm afraid that you, you got to stay with them. I'm sorry. <laughs> Order in the court. Order. Now, as I've noted, this custody arrangement is not necessarily permanent. I will revisit this decision in one year, which means... Ms. Lopez Fitzgerald, that you'd be well served to stop the histrionics and start revamping your life. If you truly want your son back, you know exactly what you need to do. Hey. Can't let this happen, Julian. Can't let her just Walk off with that little boy. Come along, young man. It's time to go home with Mrs. Crane. Oh, mommy. Sweetheart. I love you. Okay? Don't take me away. He's 
sir, please. Don't do this, not right now, okay? Just, just please. Just, just pick up. Now, don't cry, darling, okay? Nanny here is gonna buy you an ice cream cone on the way home. In fact, she's gonna buy you six ice cream cones, okay? Now go on. Thank you.